I want to be brutally honest about life outside the nine five as an entrepreneur, because there are so many people lying to you on the internet, painting this life that they're earning loads of money and living freely in Southeast Asia, or they're living back in their home country and they're making 10K a month by only working a couple of hours a day when they simply are not. And as somebody who advises people to escape the nine five and helps them to do it through my one-to-one -one mentoring and has a big audience on social media and lives in Southeast Asia, I'm hyper-conscious of this myself and I don't want to sell a dream. So in this video, I'm gonna be brutally honest about my finances and my life at the moment in Southeast Asia. So if you want to understand what the reality is like of setting up your own business and moving into entrepreneurship for many people, sit and watch through this whole video because I'm gonna break it down for you. So for a little bit of context on how I managed to escape the nine five, the way I did this was I got six months pay from my previous job, sick pay. I got signed off work because I had chronic stress and burnout. My company actually had a very good corporate sick pay policy. So I got three months full pay and then I got three months half pay. And in that time, it allowed me to recover. I actually had to take time off and rest because I was fucked physically and mentally. But eventually I was able to focus on building up my brand. And fortunately, when my pay stopped, when my half pay stopped, TikTok then started paying people through the creativity program beta. And my pay on there actually overtook what I earned in my previous job, but it then plummeted because the beta program was a beta program. In short, they were too generous. They made it way too easy to make money. And a load of people made fuck loads of money by just making bad content. And they, they cut the amount that you can get paid. They changed the algorithm as well. So many big creators saw a substantial drop and many of them now, they're claiming to you that they're earning loads of money from it. They're not, they're earning pennies, right? So for context, I went from earning peak four grand a month. Now on TikTok, I earn between 150 to 200 pounds a month. You can earn more. There are creators that are earning more and earning comfortably, but just be aware, like a lot of them, they aren't. And my TikTok pay now is shit. But that is how I actually managed to go full time on my own, doing my own thing. I got signed off work, got sick pay, and then started earning money through that program. Now, I felt really unfulfilled by TikTok. I wasn't enjoying it. And I also realized it wasn't sustainable, me just getting paid by the payment program. It's a huge risk. You don't want to be relying on AdSense, TikTok revenue, whatever it is. You wanna have multiple income streams. And I wasn't fulfilled by creating content. So I set up a coaching business because I enjoy helping and advising people, I always have. And I realized that that was the right industry for me to go into. So I set up the coaching business, but I didn't really put enough effort into it. I was kind of winging it. I set it up and got a bit complacent and just thought that it would take off with my content, but it didn't. So I then hired a social media manager slash lead gen, somebody to generate more business for me. They ended up being a cowboy. I had to threaten them with court. I had to get money back from them, but I still lost about a thousand pounds. At the time, it didn't feel too deep to me because I was earning comfortably. So a thousand, yeah, I was like, I'll make it back very quickly. But there was that that happened as well. And then eventually I started running out of money because my TikTok pay got worse and worse and worse, as I said. And then I got to a point where I was in debt and I had to focus on what I do now on the coaching. I had to go all in on it. and. I happened to move out to Southeast Asia when I was being paid by TikTok. Why? Because it is cheaper and a better lifestyle out here. But there are many people out here who are telling you how to set up online businesses, how to escape the nine five, and they're actually living out here pretty broke and they're not being honest with you about it. And I am somebody who lives in Southeast Asia and more often than not now, is in my overdraft. I hop in and out because the way that I get paid is very inconsistent. It comes and goes in waves. I can make a thousand pounds in a couple of days and then I make nothing for weeks on end. Unfortunately, I've often got a tendency to attract really shit leads from TikTok as well, like just time wasters who don't show up to calls, they're not willing to invest, or they don't have the money or they don't want to pay 
uh, to in, improve their lives and they, they just waste your time. And I've had a number of people who, to be honest, I should have just rejected straight from the offset, but got too carried away and thought, oh, yeah, you know, like there's a money opportunity here and I can help them, even though I knew realistically they probably weren't going to succeed. And those sorts of people, they fucked me over in the end. Like they've agreed to to do the coaching. We've sat down, we've got to the point of doing a contract and an invoice, and then they just block me and they fuck off. Like last week, I thought I'd made about a thousand pounds. And one of these people, they literally just dropped off the radar. Another one, they blocked me. So there's this kind of emotional roller coaster with this as well. And the pay can be very up and down. And I just want to be completely honest about this with you because although I live in Southeast Asia, I have a nicer lifestyle than I did in the West because it is cheaper, the weather is better, right? It is just a better lifestyle, but I am not rich. And there are people out here who are rich. They are doing very well for themselves, but some of them, they're hamming it up more. And many of them, they are lying to you. And I think it's really important that people are more transparent and open about this because I'm an early entrepreneur in starting this business. And a reality of business is it is hard. Most people, they fail. They make zero money whatsoever. When I sat down a month ago with an experienced business coach and I told her that in the first four months of my business, I'd landed one client and managed to charge them 250 pounds for two hours work. They said that is better than the majority of people who start a coaching business, right? That puts it into perspective. Entrepreneurship is not easy. It is not a glorious life where you're just free and you're making money all the time. In many ways, you often don't feel free because you're having to work all the time. There's a lot of frustration, particularly when you're doing client work. It can be really difficult. It is not for everyone. And as amazing as it can be, as it is the route that gives you the best opportunity to earn loads of money and have more freedom, right? There are downsides to it. And there are so many people out here who are just lying to you about the reality of how much money they're making. I know these people firsthand, they are scamming you, right? They're just painting this illusion of living a great life, but they're also in debt or they're on credit card loans or they're actually scamming people. Like there are some pretty prominent influencers out here who I can't name, but they they are scamming people with, with what they're doing. So look, if you've watched through to this point, I hope you find value in this because I would encourage you to pursue entrepreneurship if you are cut out for it, if you want more freedom and ownership over what you're doing and as a means of personal growth. But I do not want to sell you the dream and lie to you because it is a journey and some people are better than others at this. Some people, they make a lot of money very quickly. Many, many others don't. It takes time for them to learn that, particularly if they come from a background of working for other people and they have default employee mindset traits, which is something that I have too and I'm working on to unwind. Right, so if you've watched through to this point, I hope you find value. Hit the subscribe button if you would like more content like this. And if you are interested in working together on improving your mindset, understanding how you can move out of the nine five and set up your own business, I offer a range of different mentoring services and I'm happy to have a chat to you, chat to you, happy to have a chat with you and see if we can work together. And I will see you in the next video.